welcome class 6 today we are going to learn the new chapter fundamental concepts of geometry so let's start point a point is a marked position it has neither length nor width nor thickness or in other words we can say that it has no dimensions a dot represents a point and a letter p also represents a point so over here this p is a point and a unique thing about this point is that infinite number of lines can pass through the same point so if there is a question how many lines can pass through a given point then from a single given point there are infinite number of lines which can pass through next is a line a line has only length and it has neither width nor thickness so here this is a line and we take any two extreme points of this line let's say point a and b and there should be the two arrow heads on both the sides this indicates that this line will go up till infinity towards this side and here also it goes towards infinity towards this side okay so if there are two arrow heads on both the sides then it's a line and line ab is represented as ab and there should be the two uh, a small line uh, with the arrow heads on top written on top of ab all right so this is how we represent a line next we have a ray so what is a ray? It is a line which starts from a point and moves in a fixed direction. So let's say there is a point and from this point a line moves okay, in a fixed direction towards this direction in a fixed uh, direction. All right. So this point, let's say this point is point A and let's consider any of the point out here that is let's say point B. So AB becomes a ray and it is represented like this. We write AB and we write a small ray on top of it. We uh, draw a small ray and thus AB signifies a ray. Next is a line segment. A line segment is a segment or a part of a straight line. So if the straight line you know, if we take only AB of that straight line, then AB is from here to here. Now this will not go up till infinity because there is no arrow. So AB, unlike a line AB, a li line segment AB will have a fixed length. Whereas a line AB will have a length which is infinite, which will go up till infinity. So over here, a line segment has a fixed length. And thus, the line segment AB is just written as AB. We don't need to draw anything on top of it. Okay. Next is a plane. We all know what is a plane. Okay. The screen that you can see out here is a plane. A blackboard is a plane. A table surface is a plane. So, it is a flat surface. And it has length and width but no thickness. So, here... This is a plane, okay. This is the length, the longer portion. This is the breadth or width, but it has no thickness. As you can see, it's not thick enough, okay. So it's like a piece of paper, okay, which has a very, uh, which uh, which is very negligible, which has very negligible thickness. All right. So it's like a sheet of paper, okay. So this represents a plane. Next is parallel lines. The parallel lines are those kind of lines which do not meet each other even when they are produced up to infinity. So here this figure represents line AB and line CD and they are, uh, they are such a way they are separated with each other that they do not meet even if you produce them up till infinity. Okay, If you produce them up till infinity even though they will not meet each other. Such lines are called 
parallel lines and these parallel lines are supposed to lie on the same plane so over here it lies on the plane of this screen okay next we have the and yes of course the parallel lines are represented by ab parallel to cd so these are the parallel line symbol okay ab parallel to cd next we have intersecting lines if the two lines meet each other or intersect each other then they are called intersecting lines for example let's say that there is a line ab and there is another line cd which meets each other at this point o then we can say that ab intersects cd or we can also say cd intersects ab at the point o so this point o becomes the point of intersection or is called as intersecting point next we have collinear points if there are three or more points which lie on the same straight line then the points are called collinear points suppose let's say there are set of points in such a way that a straight line can pass through them then those points over here point a b c d and e are collinear points okay so they have to they all needs to lie on the same straight line then they are collinear points next concurrent lines if three or more straight lines pass through the same point then the lines are called concurrent lines for example let's say there is a line okay and there is another line which intersects at that point again another line which intersects at the same point and another line and there are more than three straight lines which intersect or pass through the same point this point out here then these all all these lines are called as concurrent lines okay so keeping this in mind your today we are going to learn about open and closed figures so you have seen geometrical figures like circle a rectangle and a triangle all these figures are enclosed by a continuous uh, curves or a continuous lines okay they are continuous and they are no there is no breakage in between so these uh, figures are closed okay so they are called closed figures in this figure the same figures are broken up okay and the lines or the curves are made discontinuous so they are not continuous all right so these kind of figures are not closed but uh, they are called as open figures and sometimes you'll find out some of the figures are having the lines which intersect with each other so they have the intersecting lines so <clears throat> in open figures uh, sorry in closed figures we find that there is no uh, discontinuity of the lines and neither they are this kind of intersecting lines so we can say that if there is a closed figure then the interior means the one which is colored with yellow is called the interior portion of the figure okay which is inside and the one which is outside the yellow colored ones are called the exterior of the figure now we have some ovals like this okay or like this okay if this kind of figures where the curves are there okay here the curves are there the, the lines are not there here the line is there but the curves are also there so this kind of figures with the curve as, as their boundaries they have curvilinear boundaries they're supposed to have curvilinear boundaries and the figures of this type 
where all the edges all the boundaries are made up of lines then they are supposed they are said to have linear boundaries so we have curvilinear boundaries and linear boundaries so one with the linear boundaries over here are the first figure is triangle where all the three sides where uh, the figure has the three sides with these are the three sides and there are three angles formed okay this angle this angle and this angle which makes it call as a triangle so triangle is a figure of three sides which forms three angles next we have a rectangle rectangle has four sides two of the opposite sides are equal this side is equal to this side this side is equal to this side and <clears throat> The longer one is called as the length, okay, and the shorter one is called the breadth. So a rectangle has two lengths and two breadths. Next we have square. A square is a four-sided figure with all the four sides equal, okay, all these four sides are equal. And also the angles formed by these four sides, the four angles formed, are 90 degrees to each other so if you have 90 degrees and if all the four sides equal then it's called a square next we have a circle now it's not a linear it's not a figure with the linear boundaries it is curvilinear boundaries now the circle is such a figure which has a center okay and from the center the circle is always equally away every time you draw the circle so the distance from this point to this point let's say or from this point to any other point from here to here from here to here or from here to here anywhere in the circle in the circle is always equidistance from the center means the distance between the center and that particular point in that circle is always equal next we have the two intersecting lines when the two lines intersect in such a way that the angle formed in between is equal to 90 degree then we call this kind of lines as perpendiculars okay so they are intersecting at 90 degrees thus they are called as perpendicular lines and if the two lines are perpendicular to each other in such a way that they are this this line this portion from here to here and from here to here is equal to this po is equal to each other sorry this line from here to here is equal to this line from here to here that means if the line is divided by the perpendicular equally into two halves this is the perpendicular bisector all right so this line is the perpendicular bisector if this divides this line into two equal parts then this is the perpendicular bisector for this line and if this line also divides this line equally into two halves then this is also the perpendicular bisector for this line so these are called the perpendicular bisectors if they divide each other equally into two equal parts so 